I enjoy being cheap um, because it just makes me feel rich. <laughs> What up though? So we are going to be getting ready together today. Lots to chat about, okay? So grab yourself a drink of your choice, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even a snickety snack. These my fave. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. If you ever watched a get ready with me of mine before, then you know I don't really talk too much about what i'm doing like this is for us to chat and get ready together like me and you you know like we just in the same room together getting ready that's what the purpose of this video is for um but i'm pretty quick my response time i like to think in the comments so if you have a question about something that was mentioned or used in the video feel free to drop down in the comments and let me know and i'll let you know but i will say i'm using the benefit professionals i love this like I had a big one, but since it lasted me so long, I feel like it expired before I got to use it all. So I just got another little one because I was like, I don't want, I don't trust this. Um, but yeah, that's really like the only primer that I use because like I told y'all last time, my texture is really, really, really bad. Like I have really bad texture. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know who. I wasn't always this way. But something has come and corrupted my skin. And now, I also went ahead and did my wig off camera only because I um only put it into a ponytail. Like, I'm really trying to test out a look and see if it'll look cute um for my husband's birthday so i was like i gotta film a video today i might as well try and test this out and see if it'll look cute um like this makeup look um because i'm i've convinced myself that we go into vegas even though we only go into atlantic city but i feel like it's like lowest key the knockoff version so i'm calling it atlantic vegas um, because I literally have convinced myself that we're going to Vegas. I have been trying to find, I know like I have not added a new, uh, like any new human wigs to the site, but it's just because sis, I have been testing out vendors and like, girl, trash. Like I thought that like I was getting a little bit closer with this one, but it's trash as well. So, I'm still on the hunt. The hunt still continues. I want to make sure it's really good quality. Yeah, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, uh, I don't want to just put anything and sell anything. Like, because I wear these wigs, too. Like, I don't just get it and sell it just to give it to y'all. Like, I wear them as well. I literally have not stopped wearing that Brazilian curly. Like, I wear the wigs, too, so I want them to be good. I don't typically, like, give my eyebrows too much pre precision in the beginning because I'm just about to literally put on foundation. And I'm not really, like, I'm going to put on this uh, foundation because it's just easiest to apply. But, girl, can we please talk about um basketball lives? Like, I need to talk to you, sis. Like, we need to chat. Like, what's the joke exactly? Now, let me just say this. Um, I don't feel like the problem is necessarily that Evelyn feels like um, OG is dark skinned and that's why she like don't like her because of colorism and all of that stuff. And it might be something like deep down the side. I don't know. I ain't in her heart and her mind. I don't know. But I honestly feel like the problem is not that OG is dark skinned. The problem is that they're scared of her and not because she's dark skinned. I do believe that they're scared of her because she plays football. They know that she will beat the crap out of any one of them with the quickness. And I think, let, let me, let me, because this dry down real quick. Hold on. Okay, so 
I honestly, like I was saying, I feel like they are just afraid of her. And not because she dark skinned, but because they feel, they know that if she wanted to, she could beat the crap out of any one of them. And not because she's dark skinned or black, but because she played football and she could beat the crap out of them. That's just that. Like, because like, this how you know that they scared of OG. And again, not because she dark skinned. I just honestly feel like they know that they can't try it with her and not get beat up. Like, honestly and truly, she played football. She tackled hoes for a living. Come on. So, um, that scene where she was like, I'll break your jaw to Kristen. And Kristen, if somebody tell me, fam, if somebody tell me they're going to break my jaw, I'm swinging on you. Because now you just let me know that you want to fight. Inadvert well, not even inadvertently, on purpose. You let me know that you want to fight. You said you're going to break my jaw. So now I'm going to pop on you. Like, that's it. Now, I'm so far removed from being a fighter. But I'm just saying, like, if you in my face telling me that you're going to break my jaw, you're threatening me. And now I'm going to pop on you. And let's just get it popping. That's it. But... She's telling Kristen she's going to break her jaw. And Kristen is like, OG, why do you have to fight her battles? OG, why do you have to fight her battles? And it's like, this, this girl just said she was going to break your jaw. And that's what you got to say? What? So that let me know right there that Kristen was scared of her. You remember when um OG asked Phoebe what, um, what was the song about her? Whatever she said... Oh, uh, Phoebe was scared. Y'all, y'all know what scene I'm talking about. Y'all watch basketball wise. Phoebe was scared. Like you cannot tell me that fear wasn't in her eyes and she wasn't shaking and trembling. She was. She was scared. And then that um scene with Evelyn chased, what well, tried to chase Cece out, and then OG was running behind her and then slunk. Well, she didn't really sling her into the bushes. Not that I recall, but whether she did or she didn't. That scene right there, when OG was right, it's like she, Evelyn did not want no parts of OG. And I think that's, honestly and truly, OG made Evelyn look like a punk on TV. She's known for being aggressive and telling it like it is and putting girls in a place and all of that stuff. And then OG come along and that's over, like. So I think that really and truly, they just don't want to film with her and don't want her on the show because they can't do that mean girl stuff with her because she ain't with it. Like, that's it. I honestly did not like the fact that they were trying to say that they didn't want to film with her on the same stage because they were scared for their lives or they felt like um, she was unpredictable or whatever the case may be. And it's like, Evelyn, you filmed many reunions and I've been watching the show since its inception, season one, Miami. You, you have been on that reunion stage with so many other people that you had beef with that you threw things at and tried to fight and jumped across tables and all of that stuff. And I think that the difference is, you know that like, if you try any of that with OG, she's going to tweet. Like, that's that. It was so whack. And then Jackie worked on my nerves when she tried to get upset because she wanted to sit next to Mark. It's like, you just want to have something going on. Like, shut up and sit down. And it's sad to me that, like, Malaysia and Jackie aren't cool anymore because sometimes I do like Jackie like just sometimes though sometimes I really do like her um so it's just like oh man you know but life goes on base is set let me know like um if y'all watch basketball wise or what reality shows y'all watch because I love reality tv like I really, really do. That's why I had made that channel to do like reality TV reviews, but it's like, I barely have time to film videos for this channel, like house way. Um, but yeah, let me know like what reality shows y'all watch. Um, I really used to love basketball wise, but when I was watching Evelyn pat her vagina like that, I was like, 
bro like that was too much it would like i was like what like what she must have been drunk or something like i don't know but that was too much like that was way too much all right so for the eyes i'm about to experiment because i've been thinking a lot about doing like a brown smoky eye i'm figuring out how to best like execute this plan and um i still don't know so we're gonna see I'm not really like a fan of like eyeshadow, so I don't really have much practice with like doing eyeshadow because I just don't like the way eyeshadow looks on my eyes. So we gonna see. Y'all, it's looking like I'm gonna have to get a new car because me and my husband are planning and trying to make a major like move um, next year. And I'm going to need a reliable car. And listen, I've been driving the same car for years, okay? A 2004. And I just feel like I really enjoy living way below my means. Like, it makes me feel rich. Like, I like to live deep below my means. Like, I am cheap, okay? Like, I am so cheap. And I enjoy being cheap. Um, because it just makes me feel rich. <laughs> but it's looking like I'm going to have to do that. So I've been looking at some cars. So we're going to see. I'll show what happened. This turned burgundy real quick. I should have never put down that orange. Because. Like what? Girl. Time to set it, never forget it. Anybody else use a uh, hair glue for their lashes? Let me know. I find that like a lot of times when I do like eyeshadow looks, it just makes me look old. Like, <laughs> I just don't think that I have the face for, like, a bunch of makeup. You know how some people, they could wear, like, a lot of makeup and, like, crazy. Not crazy, but, you know, like, out there, like, eyeshadow looks and still look nice. But, like, that isn't the case for your girl. Um, Yo, shout out to y'all who order from me. And then come back and let me know. I appreciate y'all taking the time to, like, come back and be like, yo, I love my package. I appreciate the gift. You know, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm not really liking this. Something about this I just don't like. Y'all like my cross? I was trying to think of a name for it. I still haven't added it to the site yet. It'll be up by the time this video go up, but... I was trying to think of a name and I came up with Crystallized Reminder. You know, just a reminder of our Lord Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins. You know? Cute. I love the chain. I opted for like something different. Um, and I love the chain and I love the cross and I just think that they pair very well together. Like, I love them. This be the final look or whatever. That's a wrap. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and chitting and chatting. I really appreciate you. And drop down in the comments and leave me a red heart if you made it to the end of the video. Because that's love, like for real. Okay, to just listen to me blabber for however many minutes long this video is. Like, that's love. And I appreciate you. Um, So be sure to do that. Also, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay, do me that solid. And subscribe if you're not already. Also, check down in the description box. I will leave the link to Shop All Things Beauty down there as I always do. So you can check it out. You know, we have jewelry, wigs, lashes, you know, etc. Check it out. And for especially and only the youtube fam um uh, i have a code for y'all discount code for you to get money off your jewelry when you shop all things beauty.com you know when you shop all things beauty.com <laughs> when you shop all things beauty um the code is youtube fam okay so make sure to use that you get 10 percent off 
your jewelry. You know? Because that's love. You watching me this long is love. It's just love revolving. Um, But yeah, so check the link and check out the store. Like, it's a bunch of stuff for you to browse and see. Um, And you might find something you like. So do that. And what else? What else I want you to do, sis? I want you to have a great week. I hope you have a great week. Um, I don't know at which point you're going to be watching this. So if it's having a great week, have a great week. If it's the weekend, have a great weekend. If it's just you just trying to make it through the day, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay? Much love from me to you. Peace and blessings.